What is up everyone? Lee Talkin here. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. We appreciate each and every view you guys give us. Uh, I know it's been a little bit of a grind as of late. Uh, hopefully that's going to change today. Uh, I am actually on a solo musky mission. That's right. Robbie's in the Northwoods uh, fishing with his dad and uh, I actually have not been out since our last dogfish outing with uh, Brian and Noah. So I'm going to do something a little different today. It's a Sunday. Of course, there's going to be quite a few boats out here, so we'll have to contend with that. But I am going to do a walkthrough step-by-step -step on a solo musky mission, why I'm doing what I'm doing on the lake, okay? So I'm going to tell you why I'm choosing each spot, what the spot uh, looks like, how it's laid out, what kind of structure it is, obviously what presentation or lures and, and why I might be switching lures, uh, what reasons for that. So something a little different, it might be a little longer format uh, if we happen to catch something would really help considerably. Um, yeah, it's been kind of a grind for muskies uh, for Robbie and I so far, other than the, of course, Indiana trip was, uh, those trips were pretty awesome. So I'm just sitting here at the boat launch, talking to myself. Um, let's give a go at it. Let's see what happens here. Okay, pretty much we're here. Why are we here? Because we're at the boat launch. There's always fish in front of boat launches. Even when the ski nautique is tearing it up ripping it up one of the better musky spots here but you know what the muskies don't know what water skiing is they don't know what fishing is probably yeah these guys are ripping it the only thing that may prevent is me throwing a top water bait there's a musky right there look at that that's probably a 43 44 incher just sitting there look at that thing Holy cow, dude. Thing is just vegetating here. Look at that. What the hell? Isn't he moved? Oh no, he's finally moving. Yeah, now that the boat waves came. Look at him swim up. Actually, that's, it's skinny, but that's probably 47, 48. Giant sitting up here in the weeds. Looks like a good spot to try, right? Holy cow. Yeah, we're only sitting in like, I don't know, four feet of water. Weeds come up about halfway. Maybe I'll get a lure on here. Let's see. A couple different options here. I'd like to have a bucktail, topwater, and a death paws minnow. Let's get rigged. Okay, for bucktail, I think I'll find a mini boiler maker there we go like so black char and here they come back you can't blame them it's pretty windy today so they're hugging the calm shoreline I get it I get it I just hate it we got that on the nine foot surgical strike which for those of you who are not familiar with telescoping rods it's like the only way to go you can fit it in your truck you can fit it in your boat Actually, I'm going to leave the bucktail first here. Might as well just get rigged here. Then I'm not screwing around when the fish are moving or whatever. Hopefully they're moving. Perch, death paws, top water. Matter of fact, I don't know, as perfect a weather as it is, clouds, 70 some degree water. Oh, I'm hooked on a death pause. Okay, I'm gonna break in a brand new chopper. How's that? Black orange char flame. Let's get this hook dialed in. Yeah, I know. I should have done this before I got to the lake. Just not enough time. Too much time building lures. Brand new. I could use some new choppers. My other ones are getting kind of janky. Brand new, ready to go regular size chopper 
I love that the chaos rods come with this little hole in the trigger and you can hang your baits on it. Looks like they're pulling in. Hopefully these guys are done right about now. Go team. There we go, fish on. That didn't take long. There we go. Nice musky. Just barely be cooked. Come on, girl, stay pinned here. That did not take long. Right where the jet skis are taking off. Let that be a little lesson. The fish don't really care what's happening here. He's towing the boat. Come on, holy crap. This thing is taking me. Okay. Okay, got her a little high in the net. There we go, on the board. It's been a while, a little while. I haven't done that for a while. Okay, get a free spool here. Okay, get my net locked into place. Okay, it's a good day. I'm glad I went musky fishing. Okay, and we're clear. Get this bait out of the net. I am shaking. That's such a good feeling. The rush of catching a fish, man, I'm telling you, there's nothing like it. I still shake after 30 years of doing this, probably longer. Kind of aging myself. Black Shar boiler gets it done. Probably six casts of the day. Let's see what we got here. That's the first muskie I have caught since Indiana. All right. That's how it's done. Nice and easy. Muskie six casts of the day. You pick your weather days or you don't pick your weather days. Go fishing when you can fishing, but six casts, very cool. Great way to start the day. I am pumped. Nice, heavy, mid 40, uh, upper 40 inch, upper 40. Wow, I'm too excited. Upper 30 inch fish and look at her poop all over my seat. Let's get her back. So fun. So exciting. Love it. I still love it, man. Holy cow. Just started. Also, a big thanks to Noah Humfeld for letting me know that he saw some good fish out here yesterday. I know he had a customer get a 45 and three quarter. Okay, that girl is ready to go. Okay. Yeah, here. Want some musky poop here? Look at that. Tell me those fish aren't eating. That is flipping awesome and disgusting. Oh man, that was so much fun. Is that the bad omen that when you catch a fish right away, it's not gonna be happening after that? I don't know, but I'm going to start the motor, turn back around, do another drift. Uh, there's definitely something going on in that little location. I'll explain it when I get to it here. All right, folks, let's make sure we have our hooks dialed in after that fish. Yep, that one felt like it had a little bend in it. Yes, folks, poop has been shed. You gotta love that. Fish have definitely been on the chew. I'm glad to be out chasing musky again. A little too much bait building as of late. But we're fixing that right here, right now, today. Okay, folks, I promised to tell you why I started here, why I'm fishing this spot, and so on and so forth. It's kind of hard to see with this much wind at the moment, but uh, let's just uh, rewind to yesterday. Southwest winds, 10 to 20, and we basically had a breeze all night too. Same direction, same direction today, southwest 10 to 20, and we have got a current seam that happens here so this weed bed I'm fishing here I'm on an inside turn here the weed bed 
is south facing. So that wind that's coming in, it's just beating into this south facing weed line. The weed line goes this direction here. Wind is coming from the south this way, southwest, just like that. And uh, like actually right now you can kind of see a little slick spot way out. And here you can really see it. There's a slick spot. This is a current seam that's created uh, from the shoreline right behind me. And that's the one thing Robbie and I always kind of talk about. It's so hard to kind of really picture what I'm talking about. But anytime you got prolonged wind from one direction, you're going to have current seams. And they're created by structure. They're created by uh, main lake points. That's one of the greatest ways to get a... Uh, uh, a current seam is a main lake point or an island, a break. It's a funnel area. It's a concentration area. Muskies are creature of edges, and it creates an edge. Boy, you can really see that slick water right here. She is windy, and I like it. I think they like it too. All right, for those of you curious on my setup here, I told you I'm using the nine-foot surgical strike for this number eight mini boiler maker perfect top water slash smaller bucktail twitch bait rod uh, and I've got that rigged with the Tranks 400 HG that's the high speed and of course it's got the power handle and I really like this for small bucktailing and twitch baits I can pick up that slack quick I can fish it really fast if I want to or I can slow it down and fish it slow too so it's just a perfect all-around setup for your smaller stuff um, if you were gonna get a setup for all-around musky fishing the swat or extra heavy would be much much more the right setup for your all-around all different baits across the board okay it's looking good man weeds are perfect water temps good the other thing too uh, the water clarity is really nice. It's like a perfect green. I, I hate it when the lake is super clear out here. Uh, typically, we get summer algae blooms. Uh, the other day, I actually came out here and tried to shoot something. Failed miserably. Never had a follow. Uh, interestingly, half the lake had some green. Half the lake was super clear. And that had been prolonged southwest winds. And all that dirty water was stacked in the north side of the lake. And what happens, that's one thing I really pay attention to, especially on metro waters where you get uh, algae, algae blooms and whatnot, is uh, where's the perfect water clarity? Where in the lake am I looking for that uh, dirty water, clean water? So what happened the other day, like I said, it was all stacked in one side. And then we got a northwest wind, cold front, mixed all that green up throughout the entire lake. And now it's a more stable lake. I think it's not so lopsided, so to speak. And I think that's really crucial. And I think that's why some big fish showed up the last few days. It was just super clear before. I think too clear. So I'm super confident. Obviously, I saw... A mid upper 40 incher sitting in the weeds when I was motoring out and a fish in the boat already so hopefully that's not the kiss of death yeah you can see here the perfect weeds I'm fishing just like that 10 feet of water and that's kind of the edge there'll be some stragglers out from there but look at all the the life in the water above those weeds uh, minnows and some of that's algae and weeds and whatnot but uh, it's looking really good out here I don't know if anyone saw that carp roll out there on the corner here. Um, we are right in that current seam. See the slick water in front of me here. Seeing that carp rise, I've been seeing them for the last 10 minutes or so. They are right on the edge of this weed bed where it makes a little left turn here. So that current is sweeping right across this point here. In all honesty, that is how I got onto this current seam thing, is watching the carp. Uh, if it was calm out, you'd sometimes see them sucking on the surface. And, you know, even if it's calm, there's always a current within the lake. But watching those carp is how I really got onto this pattern 
of watching those wind currents, current seams and whatnot within a lake. There's another one out there where I'm landing. It's really calm, real slick. That's what I'm paying attention to all the time is that looking for that slick, looking for sometimes it'll be foam or it'll be uh, floating weeds. <laughs> Like we have a lot of out here. Speaking of weeds, I have one on me now. But you still figure eight, because they will eat it with that salad on there. Okay, you see we got perfect milfoil here. It's not all skunky and slimy like that piece down there I can see. All right, folks, I managed to fish mostly around that good portion of that spot and have not had a single follow, which is fine. Because I'd rather get bites anyway um, sometimes some of the days that you're just getting follows you don't get many hits so but I am gonna motor back around and hit that hit that spot again uh, probably do a bait switch something like that and, and then maybe even move out maybe try shallower right away first where I saw that big one sitting in the weeds but then maybe move out try some rubber I don't know, stuff like that. Okay, onward, upward. All right, well, nothing going there, not seeing anything, just that one paddler. So maybe it was the kiss of death getting that fish right away off the bat but uh, we'll go find another spot where the current sets up nice and check that out easy on her here oh no don't come up no no Just thumbing my spool a little bit. I'm in free spool now. Now I'm not. Come on. Don't jump. Oh no. This doesn't look good. Just changed spots too. That's all it took. Okay. Oh, keep your head down. Head down. All right, it wasn't pretty, but I got her in. I'm kind of out of practice. It's been a while. That's a nice 40 plus. All right. Sweet. All right, folks, that was on the hell yeah colored mini tap dancer from Chaos. Man, just switched to that bait. Water's pretty kind of clear over in this corner here. And I don't know, just thought I'd try something different. And I don't know, two, three casts for that. That's all it took. Apparently, I need to just keep switching baits because I caught that one the first few casts on the Boilermaker and now on, on the Hell Yeah Mini Tap Dance. Okay, we'll get the camera set up and we'll get her out of the net here. Oh, what the hell? Let's get a measure on this fish. I'm kind of curious. It's been a while since I've caught a muskie. We'll get our, other than the one earlier, get our bump board dipped in the lake. Spread out here like so. There we go. Good enough. As I'm trying to get my glove on here, folks, you can see there's definite current seams out here you see the slicks in the water like that uh, perfect perfect scenario location all the above to catch a fish my gloves inside out I'm struggling here I don't know I wear a glove because that way if I get rashed or cut or whatever I don't have to monkey around with bandaging it up or whatever Call me a wimp, I call it smart. See what we got. That is a beautiful, look how wide that is across the back. Definite 40 plus fish. 
nice nice animal come here oh yeah yeah come here open up okay dude that is a solid fish look at that one holy cow two fish musky solo mission on the mini tap dancer what a gorgeous animal let's get a measure quick just about 42 okay going back perfect animal thing is so fat just an amazing beautiful specimen back she goes all right I'm kind of glad I went fishing today definitely some poop some slime in the boat feels good like I said it's been a while I'll add here too that today happens to be day of full moon there's no doubt the moon whether it's new moon or full moon has an impact on these fish does it always work no but uh, man it's one more thing you can put in your favor so why not but the best time to go fishing is when you can all right let's get another one all right peeps things are looking up i will show you how i was working that mini tap dancer um pretty much side to side real simple but i just kind of almost just use the reel not much rod just kind of boom 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 twitch 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 boom 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 like so basically just using the reel okay might just you know when i get closer to the boat i'll kind of loosen my line up see how i got that big loose line out there loosen it up and then i'll use the rod a little bit like so get that thing to glide nice like that that's pretty much it that thing obviously ate it way the heck out there um, not, not a lot of fish moving but hey two bites I'd rather have that than a follow any day so pretty cool I'm stoked this is uh, this is fun this is making up for all the days in the shop bend and wire this that and the other and by the way let me say I am so happy and thankful that everyone's support for buying Lee lures buying our sponsors baits chaos TNA just everybody everybody that makes this thing happen couldn't do it without you guys so thank you very much okay I'm ready to catch another I like it when they just eat it out there you don't even have to think about it all right so let me tell you about this uh, this bait I'm using why I switched to this bait in this particular zone um, I'm f sitting in about 15 feet of water I'm throwing to about 12 to 14 foot of weeds but the thing is on this spot the weeds come like up to the surface in clumps though so I can visually with my polarized I can see these clumps of weeds I can work this bait really high in the water column very easy and just kind of maneuver around those little weed clumps I can just see those dark spots out there and just kind of work it real high in the column just a bluegill popping along that's pretty much all it is hopefully you can hear me it's pretty windy throwing right into the wind here but uh, yeah that's the reason I made this bait switch I wasn't seeing anything on the bucktail top water nothing so water's fairly clear just kind of in between clarity it's actually a really good nice perfect clarity green enough to cover your tracks and clear enough you can see what's up down there yeah and by the way if you'd like to pick yourself up one of these mini tap dancers uh, you can go to chaos tackle.com we'll leave a link in the description of course as we always do and uh, another side note is that uh, we are no longer working with any musky shops so we will still leave links down in the description of all the gear we're using uh, such as the mini boiler I got the fish on earlier 
Uh, those are only available at leelures.com. So no longer available in any stores. Um, I know you guys, uh, are, I hear a lot of complaints that there's often we're out of everything, a lot of this stuff anyway. Um, trust me, we are working day and night on, on baits. Um, unfortunately, that's just kind of the kind of the deal on custom made stuff. We trust me, I've been putting in the hours. We've all been working hard trying to get more baits out, but we're doing our best. So appreciate all the support from everyone. But uh, yeah, that's what you got. Come on, where are you at? Nobody home, nobody home. All right, I just had some uh, bluegills follow up, uh, follow up my bait. They probably thought it was mom. There's a uh, carp jumping on this current seam. There's somebody honking. Yeah, things are happening. There's lightning behind us. Uh, it's looking good though. It's gonna head north, so we'll be in good shape. Definitely uh, super confident right now. I kind of like this. I'm gonna enjoy it because it's very seldom are you this confident while musky fishing. All right, I'm super convinced there's a musky right in this slick area here. Had some bluegills chase up my glider, so I'm gonna swap it up, downsize a little bit, try uh, perch death paws. Gotta be a fish right here right now. Just looks way too good. All right, fish on, all right. Oh, good head shakes. It's charging me. What do we got? I think I got a gator. Yeah, I got a gator. All right, I'll take that. Second caught, yeah, I can talk. Second cast on the pause. Look at that gator, look at, he's a gnarly looking dude, T-boned. That is a weird looking pike. Boy, he is just a weird fish. He's like textured. Look at that. Weird animal. Yeah, look at that. This is bizarre. Fun bite though. Just crushed it on that. Oof. How pike always release. Getting you wet. Okay, I'll take it. There's definitely some fish around these bluegills here. Well, little change in the weather. Had to pull the cameras. The rain seems to be encroaching in on us, unfortunately. Hopefully it's mostly gonna go north, it's looking like, but it's just being really stubborn right now. Um, yeah, kinda see the line here if I turn around. Should quit, unless it just keeps back building, which it definitely has done the last several days around the Midwest here. Holy crap, come on, eat that thing. Look at that weight. Oh, she ate it, mister. Just switched to the shredder. Come on, eat that thing. Dang it, dude. That was so sick. She waked up on that thing. Right as it started pouring. Come on, where are you at? Dang it, dude. That was so sick. Come on, where are you at? Of course, I got a weed now. Dang it, that was unbelievable. Just switched, literally the first cast, with the TNA Micro Shredder. Oh my gosh, that was sick. It's pouring rain. I'm definitely going to get wet on this one. Look at this. Wow, that was so cool. I'll add to incidentally, this uh, happens to be right where I caught the other one on the uh, mini tap dancer. Same waypoint, same icon. Throwing over 12 feet of water, bunch of weeds. Dang, dude, that wake was sick. She was on that thing immediately. Ooh, big bosky. Look at that guy.
Dang it. Just porpoise. Good one. Definitely into the 40s. Come on. We're just trying to get the cameras back out again after that thunderstorm. They're around though. Man, these fish are definitely sitting in here. Oh, there was one. Got her. All right, that was cool. That was cool. Not a big one, but that makes four musky bites in one day. Come on. Switch back to the mini boiler. Just making the same pass over these, these uh, tall weeds out in 10 to 12 feet of water. Nice chunky little fish. Cool, cool, that was cool. I watched her come up. I actually bumped the bait and then she ate it after that bump. So cool. Let's see if we can get a hold of her without, without touching her here. Be kind of nice or at least I'll get a quick little look. Boy, she is thick across the back, holy cow. Love this bait, just one hook here. I'm sure as soon as the hook comes out, she, yep, she's gonna go. That's all right. We got a decent look at her. That was probably 32 incher. Actually, I think she came off this thick weed clump we're just pulling up to now. See, this is a perfect example. Show you the kind of spot I'm fishing. See those. That, those green tip weeds, I don't know what they're called, but uh, it's a real coarse weed. Here, I'll pull one out here. Let's see. It's not milfoil. It's some other stuff. It grows really deep water. It's really a coarse green tips, we always called them back in the day. Because they come all the way up, and you'll see the tips of them sticking out of the water, like out there. Okay. Three musky day. Missed another one was almost a four musky solo day. Robbie, I wish you were here. I got three. Yep, got two on the mini chartreuse and uh, one on a tap dancer. All right, good luck guys. Musky legend, Steve Herbeck, guiding the waters of Southern Wisconsin. Come on, open up that border, would ya? It's getting ridiculous. Alrighty then, enough of this run. Go check out, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm gonna go do. We've pretty much lost our wind as you can see, so we don't really have a current seam to kind of work against right now. Kind of a bummer, but that's weather. We'll uh, yank this up and just kind of drive around. We'll, we'll try something else. Still kind of spitting rain off and on. A little hard on the cam cameras, but oh wow, look at that minnow take off. Something was chasing him. All right, next spot. Okay, so we are gonna try a bay on the southwest side of the lake. It's a little weedy right here, but we'll just kind of work our way through until it starts to thin out here. This is about seven feet of water so weeds come right to the top here um, it's quite clear but it's not bad it's it's pretty decent probably just grab the mini boiler again works good over these weed tops another thing when you're fishing solo make sure you got your net ready to go handy extended just like so I leave it kind of on the edge on the rail like that it's just generally a good idea yeah it might be a little weedy here we'll kind of thumb our way through here until we 
find a little bit clearer water but there is really nice pockets in here too so that's what i like that's what i'm looking for looks uh the fish that we uh had found earlier today were definitely around clumps and in little pockets in the weeds uh definitely a little deeper than this but it's kind of a cool cool spot there's always panfish around here so hey what's up everyone thought i'd give you an update the time is about 10 to 4 been out here most of the day and have definitely had some good action um basically all the fish i've seen have been uh positive not really getting many follows which is fine i'm good with that um just got done fishing main lake rock pile fished the windy side of it and a little bit on the corners of it where you get a current seam passing by uh the edge of the bar no such luck um it's kind of the middle of the day is probably the toughest time of day to catch a muskie uh day in and day out is that two to five o'clock let's say um not sure if i'm going to stay out till sunset kind of didn't plan really well not enough provisions uh, i do have some cashews a little bit of beef jerky left not really enough water uh, but at any rate it is full moon day that was a uh, lack of plenty on my part as usual um i don't know it's pretty windy um interestingly when i caught that last small one uh, basically we had a wind switch on the back side of that storm front and got that fish and then it flattened out and now slowly and gradually the wind has kind of come back up and it's coming out of the uh, south southwest again like it was this morning it's fairly strong uh, 10 to 15 mile an hour right now so I might just go tuck away out of the wind but definitely try to duplicate some of the current seam areas that seem to be working earlier today so that's the plan um, keep you posted all right for those of you familiar with this lake there's definitely no secrets here where I'm at uh, yeah it's rush hour right now everybody's getting done with work and I'm fortunate enough to be watching them drive by and casting musky lures um, yeah this is a nice little kind of little consolidated musky zone where eh, it's like eight to ten feet deep here some good weeds a little bit darker water let's see here what do we got for water temp 69 so the water temp has actually dropped a bit uh, throughout the course of the last day or two obviously we've had some rain so that's helped but the other thing we've had is this real strong southwest wind that has pushed a lot of that warmer water to the north side of the lake and normally i would go hit that but it is pretty darn windy today and so i'm kind of tucking down here in the south end see if uh plus i know there's some fish moving on the south end yesterday so that's why i have not ventured up over there we'll give this spot a couple of drifts and see if we can't run into a another fish or two oh there was one come on Not real big. Didn't come in, could have been a pike. Let's see here. Nobody home. Oh, oh it is a musky, but we don't want to catch it. All right. First musky I've seen yeah eating some beef jerky here sorry <clears throat> first muskie i've seen in many hours at least three probably more than that small fish definitely ate it um we don't need to catch him so that's that i don't know it's been slow kind of pretty close to taking off leaving but of course now i just saw a muskie so you can't leave yet 
All right, folks, I think I've had enough. Um, I'm not going to stick it out till sunset. Had a fabulous day. Came close, kind of close to potentially a five fish day. Had five bites today. And uh, that's pretty outstanding. Um, six o'clock. No, it's actually seven o'clock. My GPS is wrong. At any rate, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm kind of rambling and babbling on. Was lucky enough to catch fish on multiple baits, including the mini boiler maker and the mini tap dancer. Uh, missed one on the shredder, the micro shredder TNA tackle. And then also, let's see, I know I had one other shot, uh, but primarily the mini boiler maker had the most action, biggest fish. Uh, that 42, just about 42. Beautiful animal. Glad to see these fish fat again, pooping all over the boat. That's awesome. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything I did not cover today, um, yeah, it was just kind of quiet late, you know, second half of the day, so I didn't really, it was hard to keep myself into my program because nothing was happening. But at any rate, I hope you're able to pick up a few tips, tricks, uh, stuff that. Uh, why I was doing what I was doing, why I was throwing what I was throwing, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's going to wrap it up. Please go down and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so. Uh, hopefully I'll be back out fishing with Robbie shortly, but uh, here we have it for a solo musky mission. I'm Lee Talkin, and we will see you on the next video.